My name is Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Bourbon. I'm a successful entrepreneur. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm Kurt. I play guitar. Yeah, he is Kurt for the record. Yeah. Kurt, yeah. Yeah. Kurt Stegman. Okay, well, bass. Jo Joey Bourbon, guitar. Not Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the movie Step Brothers. It's in the movie Step Brothers. You ever see that? I think I actually first heard Joe Hardcore say it. Oh, man. <laughs> Jack, you might Jack have heard Lewis. of it. I think they made it up Maybe. in the movie. I mean, Either no. way, it yeah, means that adult, adult man-child idiot, which, as you can tell, is kind of fitting. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, dude, so here's the deal with this thing. We say, you talk to Kurt, and we're like, Kurt, what's the deal? He's like, I don't know, we just show up at this place and we play and we're gonna, you know, that'll be a great thing. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? He's like, I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? You're just some fucking internet people asking you to come play this weird abandoned church? Fucking sign us up. We're a bunch of fucking yeah. dummies. We didn't care what the fuck was happening. We're like, doesn't matter to us. Let's I do had it. no idea what was going on until like last night. I was sending people fucking digital breadcrumbs so they wouldn't, you know, they could find my body. You know? My GPS is active on my phone. Yeah, right. my Yo, that's it. My phone's got the fucking beacon going. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, shit, yeah. you know? I mean, it's just been part of the playbook. We've been listening up, to that stuff for years, you know, just a mix of other stuff. Um, this band started in 2015. Yeah, we as were a side, yeah, side project. Of yeah, we were in a hardcore band, band and uh, we booked a show for a surf band <laughs> out of Rochester, and there was no surf bands in Albany, so we were like, well, let's just write a surf set minus our singer, you know, just to play the show, so that have some more play with, and then just fucking. It took off. We're still doing it. Yeah. Oh, band, now we're internationally. It took off. We're internationally <laughs> yeah, known. Here we are. Boring musicians. That band's not a thing anymore, and this one is. So That's true. We're still going. Uh, well, our international know, label. It's... First of all, our label's based out of Hong Kong, which oh. is, oddly enough, uh, a weird thing. So he has a whole thing going on. Shorawaji. Got it right. right. Yeah, so uh, the last yeah. interview, I butchered our label name, so I'm surprised we're not kicked off yet. But <laughs> yeah. uh, they're out of Hong Kong, and... He's British, and we're world famous because of it. Yeah, oh, so one time when I was a younger kid, I was on tour in Germany, and David Hasselhoff came on at the bar, and it was a real drunken night. Every German person was screaming. People <laughs> literally got on tables and the bar dancing, screaming David Hasselhoff song, and I was like, where the fuck am I? This is really weird. <laughs> Shout out to Stefan and Duhlman because yeah. that was fucking crazy. Dude, there's people, there's a band from Finland, same thing. They were just, it was like, this is bizarre. I'll never forget this. And here we are fucking how many now years Now we're the half of surf. Yeah. And yeah. what's interesting about this, like Circle these off. these genres of music now are just like, it's uh, in Europe, like the rockabilly and surf, surf and everything like this. Like, Europe and Japan, they go crazy for all this like America, this American yeah, so stuff. And uh, <laughs> I feel like ahead of it's, the it's yeah. crazy that um, you know we, we would probably actually go there and play to more people than we will when we're on the West Coast in the U.S. Oh, that's a um, good question. I mean, growing up, my parents listened to like everything, so there's just always music on in my house. So I like my dad listened to reggae and disco and classic rock and weird German marching <laughs> band music, and it was just like a mishmash of everything. So I've grown up like appreciating anything, you know. So. For me, my father was actually a professional musician most of my, my entire life, so I was always around musicians. I started playing trombone in fourth grade. Right. That was it. And then I continued. I played a little tuba and then picked up the bass. And that was this. And uh, my parents did not listen to cool music, although I still back some Kenny Rogers. Gambler, classic. <laughs> I hate that. the fucking Eagles, man. My dad's an Eagles, but he's just Pink Maybe Floyd, suck, yeah. all that shit. But I, I was never really very good. If I told my dad I liked the Eagles, he would have kicked me out. That's good. <laughs> good for you. Your dad's a smart man. Yeah. Um, I used to skate with some weird, sketchy black metal kids <laughs> that uh, got me into like metal when I was really young, and then I just kind of like. I have always listened to like like old rock and roll though. That was like always like a staple, like solid though. So I think that's where all this creeps in. You know, I've always just like super like when I was. You know, like eleven-year-old dancing around Chuck Berry and shit. Oh, yeah. You know, like, I always love that it. kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 that's cool. So, whatever you got, whatever helps you sleep at night, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me, I, I think about the the band that influenced me the most. I remember hearing Mr. Longle for the first time, and I was like, "Holy shit, this is yeah. the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life." I saw Mr. Bungle <laughs> with uh, Weird well, during the Twiz phase <laughs> the, with System of a Down in like oh, 1998. Yeah. It was like 1998. Okay, All right, so we're at three. And I remember now. it was like, "This and sucks." You thought Mr. Bungle? I thought sucked? Mr. Bungle sucked. Oh I never seen him. 
No? I was too busy being punk in 1998. Now, now they're doing all, yeah, that. I was, like, all I was like, like 12 shit. years old. When I was 12, I was listening to like Def Leppard. I had the sweet jean jacket of the <laughs> You're hysteria, out of the hysteria backpatch. Oh, you're you're a genius now, buddy. Yeah. Fuck that, man. Wait, Def Leppard's awesome. Too cool? I don't give a what fuck. Happened? Def Leppard stands the test of time. Did you say that? You didn't have a towel with a backpatch? No, I had Def Leppard, man. Hey, man, I was I was also like 10, 11, 12. Then I got into Helmet, and I got into punk and rock yeah, and roll, all that shit. So you get into that. Helmet's Helmet's fucking... Uh, we've talked about it. Oh, yeah. We it's can't do this now. We can't do this now. Right. Camera's off. <laughs> Cut. Yeah, uh, Facebook, The Jagaloons, um, NY. And uh, same thing on Instagram. And uh, Jagaloon, thejagaloons.bandcamp.com if you want to check out our music. Sharawaji Records. Yeah, sharawajirecords.com. Spotify, Apple Music, Spotify, yeah, we're on, Spotify. all the streaming services. Yeah. But buy our music. Don't just listen to it for free. <laughs> I don't listen to Who cares? Yeah. We're millionaires anyway. We're yeah. International. International. Yeah, now yeah. that we got the, that shit out of let's start to real interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start to real interview. Well, we're professional musicians. We all studied at uh, the Crane School of Music at Potsdam, <laughs> St. Rose, and all these college uh, educated kind of things. So, yeah, we're, yeah. we're, we're talented. International. <laughs> 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 Uh, so good. Damn it.